The Tanner Dance Arts and Education Side-by-Side -side Residency Program is a model of teaching where both the teaching artist and the classroom teacher are working together and they're supporting one another in this endeavor. What that endeavor looks like is that the teaching artist is very well versed and well educated in dance concepts and the Utah State Dance Corps. And the classroom teacher, of course, is very well versed and knows the school curriculum, the classroom curriculum for their grade level. My name is Ashley Boyack and I am a dance specialist for the University of Utah Tenor Dance Program and we are at Westbrook Elementary today. One of the best parts about being in this program with the University of Utah is that the teachers get an opportunity to meet with the dance specialist and then we formulate a plan. The teaching artist starts and begins the dance classes but the classroom teacher is always there engaged, engaged at their comfort level, which means that they might be walking around and encouraging the kids, they might be dancing with us, and then they eventually take on some of that teaching. I didn't really think that much about dance before I started it. What about a place in Africa that we've been talking about that has creatures and animals? What was it? The savannah, and there were creatures in the savannah in your book that you read with Miss Petty. What were some of the creatures? Elephants. Elephants. Snakes. Snakes. Cheetahs. Cheetahs. Giraffes. Giraffes. I've worked with the Tanner Dance Specialist for about three years now, and I've loved every one of them, and it's just been a joy to have them at our school. Using all the movement vocabulary that we talked about in class, let's match up some movement vocabulary words with our animals in the savannah. Show us your snake all the way back to us. Here it goes. He's really the good at The thing that is my favorite is watching the children dance on the floor. When they come into the gym, they take their shoes off, they're excited, they have imagination, creativity, they work together as teams. They learn vocabulary words that maybe I didn't teach them, leaping, galloping, and just having a good time. We also have an opportunity where we invite a couple of classrooms every year to perform here at the Tanner Dance Building, and they perform on our Black Box Theater stage, and they've never done that before. In my performance, um, I danced with these people and it felt like we were a big group just helping each other. Now that I've done dance, I think it's a good opportunity to, to dance and learn at the same time. I think one of the greatest improvements we saw in our class today is a little boy. His name is Ashton and he came in in January. And in the regular classroom, he wasn't as successful every day. But when he came to dance, that was a place that he was successful every time he came. And I know that Miss Petty had pulled me aside one day and just had noticed and said, oh my goodness, look at Ashton. He is successful today in dance. He is doing everything you've asked him to do, from listening, to following directions, to working with a partner successfully. And to her, as a classroom teacher, she was so excited about that progression for him. For me, to see them dance, brings joy. I can see their personalities coming out. And usually you don't see that in the classroom. You can see uh, how expressive they are. You can see their imaginations and their creativity. When she, with Miss Ashley, asked them to do some kind of an activity, I can see them performing that and showing how they feel.